5 geometry series in 5 minutes. For the first one right here, we see that the common ratio is just 1 half, and that's good because its absolute value is less than 1. So we know this right here converges, and we know that this right here will converge to the first term, so we put the 2 right here, so we get 3 times 1 over 2 raised to the second power over 1 minus the common ratio, which is the 1 half here. Work that out. On the top, we get 3 over 4. On the bottom, we get 1 half. And then we can just multiply the top and bottom by 2, and you can work that out. You'll just get 3 over 2. And that's it. Okay, for number 2, we see that because we have this to the power n, right? This right here is the common ratio, which is 5 over 4. But the absolute value of this is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, this right here diverges. I love that so much. You see, for this one, the common ratio is not 1 over 3 because we have 2n right here. We must make sure that the power here is n and then maybe like plus 1, minus 2, or whatever. But we have to fix that first. So this right here is really the series as n goes from 1 to infinity. And we have 12. And then look at this as 1 third to the second power first and then to the nth power. So in fact, this right here tells us r is actually 1 third to the second power, which is just equal to 1 over 9. And the absolute value of this is still less than 1. So this right here still converges. Well, the first term is when we put a 1 in here, and we get 12 times 1 over 9 to the first power, and divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is 1 over 9. Work that out, you see this is just going to be 12 over 9 over 8 over 9. In another word, 12 over 8. Reduce that, you get 3 over 2, and then we are done. For this one, we can see from here to here, we have to multiply by negative 1 over 4. And from here to here, we have to multiply by negative 1 over 4. And again, from this to here, we multiply by negative 1 over 4. So the common ratio is negative 1 over 4. And if we take the absolute value, this right here does converge, right? And now, you don't really have to put this into the sigma notation. Because remember, just go ahead and put down the first term, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is negative 1 over 4, like so. And then just work this out. We get 4 over 5 over 4. And of course, multiply by the reciprocal and work that out. We get 16 over 5. And then we are done. Okay, this is number 5, but sometimes if it's not so easy to see the common ratio, you can do the following. Let's say we pick this term, which is negative 18. Just go ahead and divide it by its previous term, which is 12. Work this out, we get negative 3 over 2. And if we pick another number, let's say 27, divide it by its previous term, which is negative 18. And if we reduce this, we will also get negative 3 over 2. So this will tell us from here to here, we multiply by negative 3 over 2, likewise here, and likewise here. So that tells us r is equal to negative 3 over 2. But if we take the absolute value of this, you see this right here is 3 over 2, right? Which is bigger than or equal to 1. Therefore, this right here is a divergent geometric series. And that's it. Here's the bonus, and I want you to tell me if you agree with this or not. Check this out. Let me start with 0, and we know 0 is equal to 0 plus 0. Yes? And let me just add another 1. Yes. And uh, let me just actually do it infinitely many times. Okay? Alright. And now, we know 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, so let me write that as 1 minus 1. Okay? So that's 0. And I will do the same thing for the next one, which is 1 minus 1 here. And then let's do it again right here. And I'm just going to keep on going forever. And now, I will just take out all the parentheses, so we are going to get 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, and so on, so on, so on. And let me tell you, I am going to keep this 1 right here, and then I am going to look at negative 1 plus 1, and we know that will be 0. And this and that, again 0. And then this and the next one will be 0 as well, and so on, so on, so on. Ladies and gentlemen, 0 is actually equal to... 1 right here. Hmm. What do you guys think? I know the calculus is hard, but as long as you work harder, then you can pass calculus. I know you can.